Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I'm gonna tell you uh, I'm gonna go through a wonderful formula of Excel called S number and uh, I will be covering a few more variations oh sorry a few more formulas in the same video I'm sure you're gonna love this video uh, well uh, let's start with S number uh, I have taken an example over here these are the values and what does the is number a function do well it actually tells you whether the contents of a cell are a number or not and then I have taken an example where I have taken the roll numbers the names and the marks of a sp of certain students and then uh, I would like Excel to calculate uh, the marks Excel to pull up the marks of the student based on the roll number or the name see I would be using if function over here I'll be using is number function over here I'll be using VLOOKUP over here it will be awesome let us uh, go through this video okay now how does is number work is equal to I S N U M B E R it is asking for a value the value is in cell B7 B7 is the value close the bracket and it is telling true that this is the value now here is a date uh, it is 23rd September 1978 which is my birthday so if I copy the same formula over here, which is control C and control V, it is again saying true. It is a date. Now Excel, this formula is supposed to give a true only if it is a number. Now I'll tell you that Excel stores dates and numbers. This is just for our visibility. If you see, I'll tell you uh, how does Excel store this in the back end. So I'll, it's another formula. It's just called N. N bracket open and choose the cell. And see, this is actually 28756. And how does Excel show it? 23rd September 1978. That is how it is. And when it comes to a blank, see, we'll copy the formula. Blank is also considered as non-number. Non it is a false. I have done a calculation by choice. I have made a wrong calculation. It is showing again as a false. And here's the alphabet J. You can even call it hello. again it is showing a false now uh, let me tell you how to use this formula in Excel in real life so for example these are the roll numbers of certain students and these are the names of the students here is Neil my son they are my daughters and Karan my brother here is Charlie my very good friend and here is Superman who usually drops in or flies in in most of my videos and here are their marks now where are their marks with one single stroke I'm gonna type in all their marks I'm gonna use the rand between formula see how it works is equal to R A N D rand between lowest marks should be not nobody should be scoring less than 88 because most of my family and my friends are involved over here <laughs> and the highest marks would be 99 and I press a control enter so that all the cells would be populated these are the marks see cool and since whenever you do a calculation with the rand between formula placed uh, whenever you do a calculation or change a value in a cell it would uh, these numbers would automatically change see I'll, I'll show you an example here it is 98 right 98 1998 I change this hello to buy see these changed so <laughs> this is the rand between function to control this you just need to copy it and do a right click do a paste special paste values only SV and now these will not change an easy way to enter uh, populate a lot of numbers uh, a, a lot of cells with multiple numbers random numbers so here comes our formula now say for example if I type in either the roll number or the name of a, a of a student the marks should be pulled up by Excel using a VLOOKUP formula how does it work I'll be using two VLOOKUPs over here one if function and one if is number function see how it works it's an awesome formula is equal to F bracket open is number n u m b e r if this is number bracket close comma V look up V look up this comma if it is a number then do a V look up from here till here comma 3 comma 0 bracket close comma if this is not a number then we look up 
this. If this is not a number, then it would be a text. Then do a VLOOKUP from here to here. Comma 2, comma 0, bracket close. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> comma 2, comma 0, bracket close, close. Enter. And here is the answer C. If you type 1 over here, which is corresponding to Neil, it is 95. And if I type the name here, N-E-I-L, again it will be 95. If I type uh, the name Charlie, C-H-A-R, uh, C-H-A-R-L-I-E, it, it pulls 92. If I type 5 over here, it will pull up 96, which corresponds to Superman. Isn't it a nice formula? Well, I, I, I believe it is one of the best formulas. Uh, well, uh, this is your, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is your Excel Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.